Breaking news, a recall effort has been launched against New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell. We broke this news earlier today, moments after the paperwork was filed with the Secretary of State in Baton Rouge. The two people who formally filed the recall petition, a community activist who's run for office in the past and a former Cantrell staffer. Take a look at this. This is the actual petition. Belden Nuniman Baptiste who's also a Mardi Gras Indian and has run in the past for numerous elected positions, filed it with a woman named Eileen Carter. Carter is the sister of former state senator Karen Carter Peterson, who's also a convicted felon. She also worked at one time for Mayor Latoya Cantrell. Now, what this means is the clock is now running. The two have 180 days to get more than 53,000 signatures. If that happens, the information is sent to the registrar or voters and Secretary of State, and the governor would call a special recall election. Now, if it gets to an election, only a simple majority will be needed to vote out Mayor Cantrell. Now, it comes amid recent controversies surrounding Mayor Cantrell over travel expenses to France, how she handled a teen carjacking suspect, and how crime is plaguing the city. This almost is unprecedented. I mean, we've seen recalls in smaller towns. We've seen recalls of district officials, whether they be council members or school board members. I don't think we've seen any attempt to recall a mayor from a large urban center here in Louisiana. That's political analyst Dr. Ed Shervenak. Physical signatures will be needed and names will have to be verified if the two can even secure 53,000 signatures. Many will be challenged on issues like residency, their age, voter eligibility and redundancy. The last recall effort launched in this area 2016 against former Jefferson Parish President Mike Yenny. That effort failed without securing the needed signatures to get anything on the ballot. And moments ago, people who filed the petition held a press conference. That's where we have WDSU reporter Cassie Sherm, who's joining us live. And Cassie, what did you hear overall from that press conference? Well, the main thing, guys, so this all started because of social media, media and the criticism that's been drawing over for the past few weeks about the mayor when it comes to that violent crime, but also her recent travels. Now, the pair says they came together after hearing and having a conversation about recalling the mayor, and that's when they got an the idea that they were going to be the ones behind this to push this forward. But they do realize they have to still put together a strategy and a plan to actually recall and put this petition forward. So they have to still get 53,000 votes from New Orleans residents, uh, voters as well. So that's something that they're going to need to work on. But they say starting tonight, they're going to be working on a plan and hopefully have it done by Labor Day so they can hit the ground running. Now, the recall petition was filed today, so that means the clock again is ticking and we need to get enough signatures, according to them, in order to make this count. So they're saying they need more than 53,000. They're going to need more than just that because there are going to be some of that 10% that may or may not be eligible for that count. So they do believe, though, they'll be able to get that with no problem because of the community support they've received so far. I heard that there was a community that would support this as well. And I was like, you know what? I have been thinking about this. This has been on my heart. I had to, um, I was uh, relocated due to Hurricane Ida and I'm, I'm back. And to see the differences of what, you know, other communities have and what we don't have and their basic things that we aren't doing that can absolutely be done. And to go through that last election cycle, I don't believe we had a choice. Now, the pair says they're not against the mayor. They're against what actions have been done, and they want a fair vote for voters to be able to make that choice for themselves. And they say that's why they're pushing through this. But when it comes to funding for something like this, some of the things you got to think about is having these rallies together, going from house to house, knocking on doors, canvases. They tell us they're playing on more of a grassroots foundation, and they believe that the community will come together to help fund this recall petition. Reporting here in New Orleans, I'm Cassie Sherm. Back to you. All right, Cassie, thank you. And again,